and welcome back to the Social Stack 66 Day Challenge. Get started in social media. I'm Amy Stack and today is day 11 of our challenge. Today I will be going over how to add collaborators to your page and what the difference is between the six permission settings. Before I do that, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about marketing and social media for business, start now by subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button and then clicking the bell icon so you don't miss anything. All right, let's get started. Adding a collaborator to your page can help take the burden off of you. Um, it helps, collaborators are able to help with an array of tasks based on the permissions that you dictate to them. So to go in to your page and add those settings, you just go to your page like we've been doing. And over on the left-hand side, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and hit that page setting button once again. Then once the new page opens up, you're going to stay on that left hand side again and look for the option that says page rules. So go ahead and click on that. And you'll see about halfway down the page, there's a section labeled assign new page role. And you can type in the name of anybody that you're friends with on Facebook. Then to the right of their name, there'll be a little drop down that lists those six options that a collaborator can uh, be assigned. So the first one is admin. And you can see right underneath where we typed in their name, it does give you information for what each of these roles are. So I'm just going to go over the quick differences here. So under admin, they have, if you assign somebody admin capabilities, they'll have full access to your page for editing any settings just like you would. Uh, the editor uh, can create content, they can use the messenger, they can respond and delete, respond to posts and delete posts, they can create ads through the Facebook ads manager system, and they can see who did what, meaning if you have multiple people with um, admin prop responsibilities on here, no matter what category it is, anybody who's an editor can see, oh, Amy posted that, oh, Phil posted that, even though the public just sees it as the social stack. Uh, people that are in that editor role can also have access to the Instagram to Facebook content and update those settings as well. So what feeds from Instagram to Facebook and Facebook to Instagram. And they have access to insights. Your moderator has all of that except for posting content and the Instagram rules change a little bit um, on what they can do. An advertiser can create ads and they can see who has commented and posted on behalf of the page and they can view insights. An analyst can see again who has posted on behalf of the page or commented on behalf of the page and view insights. So they can't do the ads. And then custom is just that. You get to dictate what it is that you want them to have the ability to do. And once you hit custom, you'll just have to come in here and hit that manage page roles button to get uh, more detailed with what you want them to have access to. Once you've chosen the capabilities you want them to have, go ahead and hit that add button. And Facebook's actually going to prompt you to log into your account to put your password in there. They just want to be extra secure uh, that you are giving, it is actually you and you're giving permission to somebody that you want um, to receive it. So once you've done that, you put your password in and hit save and they would update and it would show down at the bottom under existing page roles who now has access to your page. And that actually concludes our training for today. So remember to go ahead and join me for our next challenge tomorrow. But before that, let me know in the comments if you plan to add a collaborator and what permissions you want to give them. Then go ahead and click that like and subscribe button and then choose the bell to get new videos when they become available. I'll see you tomorrow.